Hey everyone, it's Belinda. Welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be an introduction to 3D printed concrete. Concrete is the most widely used building material in the world. There's two times more concrete used than any other material. Wood, steel, plastic, or even aluminum. So what is concrete? Well, concrete in its most basic form consists of cement, sand or aggregate, and water, which come together to form a slurry. Now, this slurry has no form of its own when it's wet. It has to cure or harden in a formwork which can be made of wood or metal. This formwork actually constitutes half of the total cost of typical cast-in-place concrete construction. In addition to the cost being a disadvantage, it's extremely wasteful. Typical formwork is made of timber or plywood, and this can be reused a maximum of maybe five times, after which it has to be disposed of, and it just adds to construction waste. So in the early 2000s, there was a big push in the design of concrete printers. One of the advantages of 3D printed concrete is that you don't need any expensive formwork or mold. It can hold its own shape. 3D printed concrete differs compositionally in three ways. In addition to the base ingredients, you also have a reinforcing ingredient like carbon fiber, an adhesive ingredient like water putty, and a hydrator like sodium silicate. This produces a very different concrete, one that can maintain its shape when wet. It's also a very rapid hardening material with high strength capabilities. What's really exciting for me is the innovation in structural design that's happening because of this technology. Typical structural members made of concrete have been the same for hundreds of years. You have precast concrete slabs, which can be solid, hollow core, double T or single T, and also precast beams and girders, which can be rectangular, L-shaped, inverted, etc. You usually have to have steel or rebar integrated in these structural members to reinforce them. With the onset of 3D printed concrete, your whole mindset has to change when it comes to structural members. You start off with a 3D model, which is digitally sliced in layers. From this model, you obtain X, Y, and Z coordinates. These coordinates are then converted into a code and fed into your 3D printer. These coordinates dictate the movement of your robot arm. So since you can't easily integrate steel into these 3D printed walls, you almost have to integrate the design of a truss into these walls. Your wall is no longer comprised of layers. The structural element and the skin are one. So here are some examples of 3D printed concrete walls. You have some that mimic the design of a steel truss and you have others that are modular structural forms that come together to produce a larger structural element. Now the obvious advantages of 3D printed concrete are that you're minimizing construction waste because you don't need form work. You're minimizing production time because you have a machine that can work 24 hours a day, ideally. You reduce labor costs and you're pushing the realm of design. The disadvantages are that you have a much smaller margin of error because 3D printed concrete is so rapidly hardening. If you make a mistake in the print, you just have to discard it and start again. You're also limited by the size of the printer and also the size of the object being printed. Not to mention the printer itself is a huge upfront cost. But these disadvantages are to be expected. I mean, it's a fairly new technology. The cost of the machines will just keep going down in time. Let's discuss some examples of these two types of concrete construction. We're surrounded by typical uses of concrete. You see them in tilt wall buildings, parking garages, but there are also more innovative uses, like in the Sydney Opera House. Those iconic lightweight looking sails are actually precast concrete shells. There's also an early example of Ronchamp by Le Corbusier. He designed this heavy looking monumental curved concrete roof that pushed conventional concrete construction. Now let's look at some exciting examples of 3D printed concrete. There's a Thai based cement manufacturer who created this innovative 3D printing technique. Using a unique weaving pattern, they created a beautiful wall that brings together structural integrity and aesthetics. Here's an example of a 12 foot tall 3D printed castle by Andre Rudenko. Dutch engineers recently installed the world's first 3D printed concrete bridge. They used thin steel filaments as reinforcement in every layer. Finally, here's an example by the France based company x -Tree. They designed an organic truss style support structure at a preschool playground. 
I think one main hurdle to overcome with 3D printed concrete is the appearance or aesthetics of the final product. It has a lot of striations on its surface because of the nature of the printing. So we either embrace it or we spend a lot of money polishing it. Either way, I think 3D printed concrete has a lot of potential in the building construction industry and it is the future. Let me know what you think about this technology in the comments below. How do you think it could revolutionize the construction industry? Have you seen any examples of 3D printed structures in your city? As always, subscribe to my channel if you'd like to watch more videos on automation and building construction. Until next time, I'm Belinda. Thanks for watching.